Right now you can get 100 terabyte dedicated server for around $110. And I actually bought two of them. In this video, I will share a lot of benchmarks and let me present our contenders. RAID 6 on XT4, RAID Z2 on ZFS and also completely different server, Hetzner AX41 with two NVMe drives in a RAID 1 array. If you know anything about ZFS, you know that it can really nicely boost performance of array with only hard disks. So let's see our first benchmark. Well, ZFS has 90 times more I.O. operations per second on 4K blocks compared to XT4. EXT4, XT4, I don't know how to pronounce it, but you know what I mean. But maybe you don't know why this difference is so big and how it manages to outperform NVMe in sequential reads and writes. So let me explain. ZFS has ARC cache. It's used to cache both reads and writes, and it sits in RAM. So basically, if you want to write something, it will be stored in RAM first, and then it will be pushed into a more sequential way to hard drives. If you want to read files directly after writing them, then they are still in RAM. That's why in this benchmark, ZFS on pure hard drives can outperform NVMe RAID 1 array. As I told you earlier, it also caches reads. So things that are most frequently requested will be also cached, but not only this cached data will be accessed faster, that are not cached will be accessed faster also. Because it doesn't need to share bandwidth with cached data. That's why improvement is so big. By default, ARC cache uses 50% of RAM. This dedicated server has 128GB of RAM, so ARC cache uses up to 64 gigabytes, but you can configure it to use less or more RAM. Let's go back to benchmarks. PHP Bench, well, ZFS cut the difference between two servers in half. In the case of Redis, same story. ZSTD compression, same story. ZSTD decompression, yeah, same story. Things get different with benchmarks that are heavily dependent on CPU like video encoding. But still, there is some difference in basically CPU benchmarks. Why? You see, CPU has its own performance, but it needs to get data from somewhere. If you have your data placed on a faster drive, or in that case in the RAM, it means that CPU doesn't need to wait and can be fully utilized. That's also why nowadays RAM speed matters, because if you have like 16 or even more cores, then well, you also need to push 16 times more data to use all of these curls. With image encoding, it's the same story. ZFS gives you a little performance boost. With encryption test, well, now you see a real difference between old Xeon and pretty fresh Ryzen. ZFS still gives you some performance uplift, likely because libraries used in encryption are cached in RAM. With Nginx, things get a little bit weird. ZFS is actually slower, and I don't have a real answer to why. But it seems like Nginx is just heavily optimized for AXT4, and ZFS just adds overhead. Still, we are talking about 24,000 requests per second. So if you need to push one megabyte of data for every request, then you will need 192 gigabits per second connection. And this server has just one gigabit. So I would say that it doesn't matter that much, unless you are sending thousands of one kilobyte JSON files every second. Last test that I want to show you is Apache compilation speed. We can see that ZFS is very helpful here. This is very noticeable speed improvement. So in the end, should you consider 100 terabyte dedicated server from Hetzner? I'm using two of them in production for video hosting and they perform flawlessly. But as we saw from benchmarks, if you will make ZFS array, then it will perform great in many, many tasks. And in some cases, it can perform very close to NVMe drives while giving you 50 times more space at the same price. 
I have a V-service from six months and I didn't have any drive failure or downtime, so I cannot really comment about their support quality, but I requested IPME a couple of times already and they gave me it in like 15 minutes, so I'm very happy with their response speed so far. These servers are using Seagate enterprise grade drives, so it's also very good information. Like I said, I have two of them and I can really recommend them without any doubt. For $110, this is the best storage deal you can get and with RAID Z2 you get also performance and great reliability. Reli reliability. Yeah, that's all for today. Have a nice day.